hybrid. It evokes a certain fear in the hearts of auto enthusiasts. What about the throaty rumble that revs up my heart rate? Will I launch silently from that stoplight? It is true. The electric motors of the NSX can trick you into thinking that the vehicle has turned itself off. But honestly, it's great for creeping out of the neighborhood unobserved. Then you turn the knob and the internal combustion engine kicks in, ready to roar down the road. But the electric motors don't just disappear. They stay on to provide additional torque during gear changes. Plus, their instant power delivery improves acceleration. I can attest that there is no lag in the NSX, which makes this car truly feel like a rocket that knows no concept of slow. So what are the numbers behind this sensation? Honda built a combustion engine, the JNC1, specifically for the NSX because it realized that any of its existing engines just wouldn't do justice to the experience. In doing so, they created a twin turbocharged DOHC V6 that puts out 500 horsepower at about 7,000 RPM and powers the rear wheels. 406 pound-feet of torque is available between 2,000 RPM and 6,000 RPM. Honda built the V-angle at 75 degrees, which is a bit uncommon. However, the 75 degree angle avoids the vibrations that come with a 60 degree angle, as well as the height that comes with a 90 degree angle, allowing the engine to stay quiet and sit low. Fuel enters the aluminum alloy block by both direct injection and port injection, optimizing performance at all speeds, and hydraulic valve timing appears on both intake and exhaust systems. Those cylinders have plasma transferred wire arc thermal spray on the bore lining, which improves heat transfer. And the single scroll twin turbochargers, which provide boost up to 15.23 PSI, are mounted on either side of the engine. All of that is awesome on its own. And then Honda added in the electric motors. According to Ted Klaus, who was the global development leader for the NSX, one of the most difficult parts of the project was to get the traditional and electric motors to work harmoniously. Well, <laughs> whatever tests and trials and tribulations the team went through, it paid off. There are three electric motors. Two, which can act independently, power the front wheels, while the third motor drives the rear wheels along with the combustion engine. Each front electric motor provides 36 horsepower and 54 pound-feet of torque, while the rear provides 47 horsepower and 109 pound-feet of torque. Altogether, the vehicle can provide 573 horsepower, with different motors providing peak horsepower at different times. While all three electric motors are permanent magnet motors, the front motors, which are called the TMU, or twin motor unit, are oil-cooled, while the rear motor, or direct drive motor, is water-cooled. In addition, because the front motors are independent, they can each send positive or negative torque to the front wheels to improve cornering speeds. This is part of the SHAWD, or Sport Hybrid All-Wheel Drive, that allows the electric motors to produce yaw when traditional all-wheel drive systems wouldn't be able to. And that's just the design. Honda also emphasized quality production. It built the combustion engine in a special plant within a plant, for which it carved out 4,000 square feet of its engine plant in Anna, Ohio. Eight Honda employees traveled to Japan for training. Then, each of those technicians hand-built each engine. No assembly line required. Each engine took about five hours to build, with each of the 547 fasteners started by hand, then torqued with a GPS-enabled tool that recorded the pressure and angles. Then, each engine spent 150 miles on the dyno under 4,000 RPM. Finally, the technician ran a balance test. Let's review. Honda designed and manufactured an intense set of engines and motors, which provide performance that is magnificent. But don't take my word for it. The International Engine of the Year Awards named the JNC1 the best new engine of 2017. The award judged performance, noise, drivability, fuel economy, and smoothness, and found the JNC1 to be the clear winner. So yes, it's a hybrid. And actually, that's great. As Honda's Klaus put it, our biggest accomplishment is that the driver can just jump in the vehicle, and they can accelerate and brake and corner in this extremely fast machine without creating sweat between the steering wheel and their hand. 
Not everyone is going to be happy with that answer because some people want sweat. But the NSX's DNA isn't about sweat. We believe no sweat makes the driver calm so that their brain can really come alive with the car. And that's a great way to drive. Thank you so much for watching and tune in again soon.